For the following exercises, use the vertical line test to determine which graphs show relations that are functions. So take a look at the bottom. We want to definitely memorize this, this uh, test for the vertical line test. And it says that if a vertical line does not intersect the graph more than once, okay, the graph is then a function. All right, so if the line, if a vertical line that you draw anywhere intersects the graph not more than once, then it's a function, okay? So for example, on the first one, let's say I draw a vertical line right here around x is equal to negative four, all right? So here x is roughly equal to negative four. This vertical, this vertical line, excuse me, indicates that there is only one point of intersection. And what that means is that when x is four, right? x is four here, 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 et cetera. x is negative four along this entire vertical line. There's only one point in which the graph, the relation that's drawn in blue here, will obtain the value of negative four, okay? Similarly, if I were to draw another line, let's just say randomly here at x is equal to three roughly, okay? If I draw the, if I draw the line there roughly, x is equal to negative three, excuse me, x is equal to three, there's also one solution there. So there's only, now based on the definition of function, it says right here, each x can have only one y on the bottom, all right? That being the case, this proves the point that at this x value of negative four over here, there's only one answer. At this x value of three, there's only one answer as well. And we can see that the pattern would continue. So we can say that this graph is indeed a function. Okay, that's the whole theory behind it. Now, let's take a look at the second graph. Second graph, when you draw a line, if I were to draw a vertical line, let's say over here at roughly x is equal to two, all right, that, so let me just write that, this is x is equal to two. We realize that whatever relation this is, it's, a, it's an ellipse it looks like, there's going to have two points in which this x value of two obtains the same, two different, excuse me, y values. It looks like it's going to obtain a value of approximately negative two and negative four. That's a big no-no, right? The definition of a function down here says that each x can have only one y. But in this graph, this x can have two y's. Big no-no for a function. It fails the vertical line test. So this is not a function. Let me write that a little neater. So that's not a function. Last example here, same thing. Draw your vertical line. Not gonna belabor this one too much, but as we can see, no matter where I draw it, it's only gonna intersect the graph at one particular point, not more than one, and therefore we can say it's a function. That's how easy the problem should be, like the last one. All right, just draw your vertical line. If it intersects it uh, one time or less, it's a function. If it intersects it two times or more, it is not a function. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope this video helped. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.